Welcome to the Art Project. Good morning. Uh, last week, we did a lot of one-day assignments, one-day drawing challenges, uh, and they all involved line. That was my main concern last week, was just line. We started with a continuous line and so on. Um, this week, we're going to work more on shape and form, and maybe a little bit of value as well. At least that's my intention. So. We're going to do a lava lamp. First thing you need to do is draw a circle because this is like the most basic of blobs, the the perfect circle. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of shading at the bottom. Now, I don't want to get into value a lot or shading a lot, but this is uh, known as hatching or cross hatching. Right now, I'm just using hatching. And it's basically just to give you the idea of three dimensionality. Uh, it is got shadow on the bottom side of it so my next shape is going to be a little bit more peanut shaped a little bit more organic and uh, just imagine if you have taken a piece of play-doh and pulled it a little bit so that it is like i said peanut shaped and then add again just a little bit of shadow to the bottom of each spherical part right so it looks like it curves under just a little bit uh, you're not necessarily going to get this right the first time around if you don't have any experience with drawing or doing this before. Uh, but this will give you the experience. And as you do this, look for whether it looks right or wrong. Don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, enjoy the process. Just let it happen. If you make mistakes or if it doesn't look right, that's okay. You can fix it on the next one. So this third one is more uh, fidget spinner shaped. Um, but it's still supposed to be sort of three-dimensional and so the uh, shadows that I'm putting here are again on the bottom sort of right hand side of each spherical part of it each blob part um, I think that this is going to help you three-dimensionally to help you start thinking in terms of shape and form and value and so I just think even though we're not drawing from real life uh, we're starting to consider the different possibilities that take place in real life. So I'm just going to continue this on. Um, I want you to fill your paper with these blobs. Uh, get more and more complex as you go. Uh, don't, don't get too crazy complex at first if you're new to this. But challenge yourself with each, each round, each uh, shape that you make. I've sped the video up a little bit. This um, pro project and all took me about uh, 30 minutes. Um, and eventually I got to the point where I wasn't really satisfied with the shading on the bottom. And you're going to see in just a minute, I go back and I sort of add to all of the shading to make it look a little bit darker. And in order to do that, I employ cross hatching. So far, all I've done is a little bit of hatching underneath but now I'm going to make my marks go across the previous marks and I'm basically just darkening up the shadow a little bit on the bottom I'm gonna leave that to your discretion if you like it lighter that's fine leave it if you want it darker uh, make it a little bit darker I just basically went through and added a little bit more pin to each section the more black that covers the paper the darker it obviously becomes so um, just practice with it do not be afraid and do not be so lazy as to not do this project twice if you have to uh, the first time you do it just gonna be trial and error it's gonna it's gonna have a lot of mistakes in it probably you um, it's gonna be it's gonna have some things you're not completely satisfied with so if that's the case Take what you learn from this first go around and then get a whole nother sheet of um, copy paper and do it again. And by the way, I didn't use any pencil here. This is all a uh, Sharpie pen. I just kind of made it up on the spur of the moment. You can do it in pencil and shade it in pencil if you want to um, per your teacher's expectations and requirements. But again, don't don't hesitate to do the whole thing twice. If you learn a lot from the first one, you can make the second one look a lot better. And again, it only took me 
about 30 minutes to do this. So if you learn anything from it, the second time you do it, it should go faster. So you're losing at most an hour here, and I wouldn't even say losing because you should be learning from this experiment and from this challenge. So good luck to you all uh, doing this. Again, please uh, let me know what you think in the description below. Um, post it on Facebook. Take a picture of it and post it on Facebook or Instagram or uh, wherever and tag me in it. My uh, names are in the description down below. I have an Instagram and a Facebook and a blogger and a Redbubble and all those things. So um, find me, take a picture of it, tag, tag it, let me know you made it. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, in order to make this look a little bit more like lava and make it look a little bit more interesting, I decided to uh, paint it in. And uh, I don't necessarily recommend you paint it. You don't have to paint it. Um, this is a drawing challenge. You may not have paints at home. You can use watercolors or markers or anything. But my biggest recommendation, uh, if you decide to color it in, is to pick a color that is lighter than the marker that you used, than the pen that you used for shading it in. And you got to be careful. If you do this in ballpoint pen, it might not be uh, waterproof. And so if you paint it and get it wet, it might bleed. So uh, even if you use watercolor, it might have a tendency to spread or smear on you. So just be careful with that. Uh, you could do the color of the background in if you want to. Uh, at first, I used just some of this watercolor that I had straight. It's a, it's actually a liquid watercolor, but then I decided that it was too dark, and I uh, spritzed it and wiped it off, and then did the rest of it in a watered down, a much more watered down watercolor. And it, it did kind of smear out into the background. That's okay. Persevere. Keep on going. Don't give up and quit just because you made a single mistake or you messed up a little bit. Um, most people aren't even going to notice what you messed up or how you messed up. So just keep on going. Again, you can use marker if you want to. You don't have to use watercolor. And you don't have to color it in at all as far as I'm concerned. The main point is the forms. So that's it, my friends. Go make some art. Stay safe.